Worms are nature's perfect creatures. They aerate the soil, recycle waste, and they, and they gross out girls when you drop them down their backs. Come on, Danny. If we want to win first prize in the science fair, we've got to be scientific about this. So, uh, what's your plan? We're going to prove that worms can survive just about anything. Heat, cold, stretching, even cutting them in half. <laughs> Pretty harsh. Oh, he's such a baby. Worms can't feel anything. Reggie, get lost. You don't own the basement. Can't you see we're on the brink of a scientific breakthrough? Well, excuse me, Dr. Wormenstein. If you guys think your stupid worm experiments are going to be our project, you can forget it. What are you going to do? Use dolls to act out a story from the X-Files? If you must know, Beth and I are doing the life cycle of a robin. We have a nest and eggshells and everything. <laughs> Must have been something it ate. You wrecked it! I hate you! I'll get you for this time. You'll be sorry. Ooh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Ew! You're as slimy as those worms you tortured! you let up that squeal, I thought my ears were gonna pop. Worms are the best thing to use if you wanna grow someone out. I mean, you should have heard Regina the time I put a handful of night crawlers into the bathtub. You could hear a squeal all the way across town. Ah, uh, sandwich. What do you got? Last night's spaghetti. Wanna trade? Sure. You should see this experiment I've got figured out for the worms. It's like a racetrack, only the different tracks have different surfaces. You know, sandpaper, rocks, sticky stuff. We can call it worms, nature survivors. Ah! Ah! Something died in there. Oh, gross. Is this supposed to be funny? I didn't do it. Sure, that's why you want to swap? You and your stupid jokes. Why would I? You're my best friend. Not anymore. Danny, I didn't do it. Honest. Reggie. Lucky for her, it was me. You two still at war? She tried to poison me. Oh, she did not. If worms were deadly, you'd be long gone by now. Then how are those worms getting my lunch? Well, it wasn't me. I like to see you getting your protein, but that's going a bit far. Very funny. You know what's not funny? What you did to her robin. She and Beth worked really hard on that thing. It's not like I totally wrecked it. Not for lack of trying. And you're going to fix it, aren't you? You've already put me on trial and found me guilty. You wouldn't let a judge treat your client like that, would you? If you were my client, I'd tell you to plead insanity. Crazy about worms. I just think they're cool, that's all. I know. But you should have some other interests. There's a whole big world of really disgusting things out there just waiting to be discovered. Fix the bird. Oh, no science fair. No way. Try me. The prosecution rests. Now hit the sack, worm boy. It's after 10.
snuck into my room and put worms in my bed. Huh? That is disgusting. Don't tell me, tell Reggie. She's not even here. She's on a sleepover at Beth's. Then who? Oh, Todd, this whole worm thing is completely out of control. I, I told you I didn't want these worms in the house. But I, I, Todd, I'm not going to debate the virtues of worms with you right now. It's nearly 2 a.m. and I have a partner's meeting in the morning. I didn't do it. Honest. Clean up the wounds and go back to bed now. No, thanks. We could order pizza, double cheese, pineapple, pepperoni. And worms. I didn't do it. Why would I? I'm your best friend, remember? Did Reggie confess? No, she's got mom totally snowed. Last night, she even came into my room and put worms in my bed. Really? Gross. She may think she's getting away with something, but I'll make sure she's the one who's going to squirm. What are you going to do? Let's just say I'll need more worms. Zillions of them. I like the sound of it so far. Tonight, I'm going down the lake to dig for fresh ones. Coming? Nah, Mom wants me to shampoo the dog. But I'll ask her about sleeping over tonight. See ya. So, did you get your dad to print out our Robin report? He said he could do it when he gets home from work. Todd fixed the Robin yet? Maybe your dad could have a look at it. I can bring it over later. <gasps> what do you want? For starters, you can tell Mom the truth. Look, I told you. I wouldn't even touch one of your stupid worms. Why would I put one in your spaghetti? Ugh, my brother and his worms. I think I'm going to be sick. And I suppose you don't know anything about those worms in my bed last night, either. I'm definitely going to be sick. And if you think you got away with it, you did it. You're going to be very sorry. Not as sorry as you are when me and Beth cream you at the science fair. Oh, yeah? My worms will toast your stupid Robin any day. You've got worms on the brain. Just ignore him, Beth. Well, I always do. Worms on the brain. Worms on the brain. Worms on the brain.
is this place? Hello? Anybody here? Did you see it? The ant worm. It's gone. It didn't get me. What's he babbling about? No giant worm. I could kiss you. Don't you dare. Todd, what are you up to? Nothing. I'm telling you, there's a giant worm down there, and that bird scared it away. Stay away from my robin. Come on, Beth. I can't believe he'd wreck his clothes just to play that dumb trick. What can I tell you? He's nuts. Worms on the brain. is now officially worm free.
Looks like you've done some redecorating. I guess. How's it coming? Almost finished. We're gonna watch a video. You're in charge of popcorn. Sure. I'll be right down. Sure about this? Totally. You give up worms? That's like me giving up double cheese nachos. So maybe I'm bored with them. Ever think of that? Well, at least let me see some for bait. I don't need any worms. These minnows make great bait. Whoa! That one got away. Don't work so hard. Bring them down, push it through. Don't worry, it's a stupid little minnow. They don't feel a thing. So now what are you supposed to do for the science fair? I don't care. So long as it has nothing to do with worms. How about we do something with fish? Not a bad idea. When you think about it, fish really are nature's perfect creatures. <laughs> That's what you said about worms. I know, but fish are way better. They've been around for millions of years. I mean, they can breathe underwater. Survive under polar ice caps or in tropical heat. I mean, they probably don't even have to sleep. How are we supposed to make a science project out of fish? All we need is a few experiments. How long can fish live in hot water or cold water? How long can a freshwater fish survive in salt water? Stuff like that. Isn't that kind of cruel? I mean, like, making them suffer like that? Don't be such a baby. We've got to be scientific about this. I'm telling you fish can't feel anything. All right, I got one! Yeah, easy, easy. Oh, nuts. Got away. I took my bait, too. I hope I catch one. Can't wait to start my experiment. So, uh, what are we gonna call this fish experiment? Fish. Nature survivors. I'm gonna have a bite of your sandwich, okay? My sandwich? I thought it was your sandwich. Fish, please let me go. 